episode for you today. World Wildlife Federation with a cute little panda munching on his bamboo. Isn't it so cute? Oh my goodness. How long is it going to take me? Let's find out. Hey guys. I have a fun puzzle today. Okay. I remember learning about the World Wildlife Federation back in grade nine and I thought they were so cool. Um, I just really like what they do for the environment. Like they're, they're not like other nonprofits. Like it, most of the proceeds actually go to what they're trying to accomplish, which is really nice. Uh, but this cute little puzzle that was gifted to me by a friend, I was so excited about it. It matches their logo. It's the cutest little panda ever just munching on his bamboo, having a great old time. Um, it is only 500 pieces, but because there is so much green, I kind of wonder how hard this is actually going to be. This one might hold me up a little bit, especially since like, I've never done this kind of puzzle before. I don't know, like, I don't know how good the piece quality is going to be. What is this? Like Canada Games Company, I think is the brand on this one. Like, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know if they're more of a no-name brand. They're definitely not a hugely popular brand, at least not in this area. So, I guess we're gonna find out. What do you think the time that's gonna be? Um, a lot of green, black and white. It's like Thir three colors. Yeah. 38 minutes. Excuse you. <laughs> it's a 500 piece. Yeah, that's, that's an easy 500 piece puzzle. This could be a hard 500 piece puzzle, mm -hmm. I think. 39 minutes then. No. 42 minutes? No. 43? No. 45? No. Is this a heart? <laughs> 51 minutes. Okay, that I can almost accept. 51 minutes. You see how I had to argue with him? No, no. What, what is the matter with you? There are three colors in this puzzle. That is not a lot of color and variety. Come on, I could sit here for a while. Not to mention, again, we don't know what this puzzle is going to be like. This could be a wiggly jiggly fighty back puzzle. But we will find out. 51 Minutes? 51 50, minutes? 52. You said 52. I said 51. Are you sure? I'm positive. I, I don't know. I think I, you said 52. I, I am sticking with 51. Oh, I tried. I tried to get an extra minute. Who knows? I mean, it might not have done me that much good anyways, but whatever. Let's see if I can do it. Cute little panda munching on his bamboo. He's so cute. Shake, shaky. Um, you got to start the timer too, or I would have taken the free time, you know. There we go. Ah, the pieces didn't want to come out. They wanted to stay in the box. Also, like, what's this? Just wait for to draw your own. Here you go. On. Thanks. Oh, no, it's a poster in there. Oh, it's the panda. Hello, little panda. I don't think he's going to want to stand up. No, he's angry. <laughs> We're disturbing his bamboo eating. He's hungry. He wants to be left alone. I do notice that a lot with older brands, you guys, like that I come across ones that didn't quite get cut right. Like, I don't know if they just over time figured out better methods of cutting or like the pieces, the, whatever material they use to make the puzzles, it, it just cuts through better or something. I don't find that problem as much nowadays, but back when I was a kid, I used to have it all the time with my puzzles. I'm definitely getting the sense this is an older style puzzle for sure. 
The pieces don't click in as nicely as some of the newer puzzles do. Like they click, but sometimes it's a bit of a question as to whether they actually belong or not. It's one of those puzzles. So that's going to make the green even harder because it can. The panda I don't think will be too hard though. Like he's, he's pretty basic. I mean, it is just white and, uh, and black, but I don't know. I, I just, I think because of this pattern, he'll stand out. Panda is harder than I thought, you guys. With the less clicky pieces, his black pattern here causing a bit of a hiccup. I am glad I negotiated for extra time or I would be a little bit worried right now. Not saying I'm still not, but I'm glad I have a little bit of leeway. <laughs> so you say you're eating beans. No, I said I'm glad I have a little bit of leeway into maybe not eating beans. It sounds like you're eating beans. No, 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 nothing set in stone just yet. But if I was a betting man, I'm betting you're eating beans. Well, you don't always just bet on that, like you, you might lose your money. I feel safe. I could still come back from this. It could happen. <clears throat> Although that being said, if this is what the panda is like, I can only imagine the green is going to be difficult as well. So I gotta speed myself up. Somehow, some way. <laughs> uh, I need more clicky pieces. See that? If I have to eat beans, it's not me. It's the pieces. You should have watched your egging. Uh, well, I'm trying. It's not for lack of trying. I mean, the white parts of the pan to go together just fine. It's these darn black parts that are like, ah, so slow. So time consuming. of his fur is helping a little bit. There's a little bit of speedy progress. Again, I am not liking how these pieces are a little slippy slidey. I mean, they're not wiggly jiggly, but they're, the finish is really smooth on them or something, and it's a little hard to get a grip on them. So they sort of slip and slide in your hands. It, the, the puzzle is resisting. It's a resisting puzzle. Again, I'm blaming the pieces if I eat beans. Excuses, excuses. Yes, well, 
I have to justify it somehow. Yeah. You keep telling yourself that. I, I will. Thank you. I'm so glad you gave me permission for that. I will take that and run with it. Mostly one panda onto the green. Oh, I'm not totally sure how I want to approach this. I think I'll try and do this weird blue flowery stuff in the background. That should hopefully be pretty straightforward. Um, then I think if I can't get too, too far with that, I'm going to do the close up bamboo leaves and save the horrible green smudgy this to last. This, okay, you guys, this kind of reminds me, there are two puzzles that have given me grief in my life. And that is this red UNICEF puzzle that uh, was given to me. My God, that thing was awful. I did it when I was fairly young. It was about 1,200 pieces, I think, so a weird piece count. But I just could not make any headway with it. I just kept taking it out, putting it back in the box, taking it out, putting it back in the box. Um, I think there were like four or five pieces missing by the time I finally managed to finish it. And the other one was this atrocious painting style um, canoe picture of like the, it, it was green and murky like this. It was this couple on a canoe in, um, like back back in the day um i want to say like pioneer era type thing just going along on the river um my god just the style of it it was 1500 pieces it was all green murk it literally looked like mud everything it different varying shades of green mud that could have gone anywhere bad pieces bad picture I think, I, I actually think by the time my mom and I finished it, we threw it in the fire so as not to curse anyone else with it. It, it was that bad. We did finally finish it. There were pieces missing from its travels, but uh, it, it, those are the only two puzzles that have ever stalled me. And I, I don't know if it was my age, like I do kind of wish now that we hadn't thrown the one in the fire because I would like to find it and redo it to see if it's one of those things that it, it's literally, it's my Moby Dick. It's like my white whale that I'm just never gonna overcome. Or if now that I'm older, it would just be like, oh, well, what in the heck did I ever find so hard about this puzzle? It'd be interesting though. If I ever come across it again, I will definitely pick it up regardless of the fact that I did not like the picture. It was ugly. It was just, it was an ugly, yucky puzzle. Um, but for science, we, I would do it for science. <laughs> it would be fun to try and find that puzzle. It would, like just to see, I remember exactly what it looks like. I just, I wish I could remember the brand. Interesting, mind you, to have me do a 3D puzzle now, because again, I used to do 3D puzzles when I was a kid, and I just found I did not have the patience for them because I knew where it went, but Hurricane Max came in to devastate the area every time I would try to put things together and it would fight back, and I would lose my patience, and the whole thing would go kerplop. <laughs> but it would be interesting if now that I'm... I mean, I'm still equally as impatient, but I feel like I might have learned something about how to be a little more gentle. Maybe. maybe. I'm still a human hurricane, but just older and wiser. Arguably.
I noticed you didn't comment on that. I thought you would make fun of me for that. No comment. No comment. Oh. No comment. You don't feel like taking your life into your hands that's, right now? That's exactly That's right. Oh. You're thinking. I am off camera. If something were to happen, I wouldn't have any video proof that I was hurt. <laughs> Well, they might figure some things up if you stopped appearing in the videos all of a sudden. And if the editing quality all of a sudden went for a crap. Why does that look like it was put together by a two-year-old? Well... <laughs> you see... <laughs> Oh, you guys, I, I feel a little bit concerned. I may be eating beans. I'm not sure how long I've been here. It's a little bit worrying. Um, it might be over the hour or 51 minutes or whatever the heck I had. Um, it's definitely come together faster than I thought, but there's been some stagnation again with the fighty backy pieces. So we're gonna see. I make no assumptions about whether I am or am not eating beans. I think everything is on the table today. See, you say that, but sometimes you say that just to bug me and not because that's the honest truth. So I don't really put a lot of stock in what you say. Again, sometimes I've heard you say that before, and sometimes it's just to get in my head to bother me, and not because that's in all honesty what's happened here. I can guarantee you're eating beans. So self assured. And sometimes it's the way you say things. Like, it, I'm just not convinced. Hmm. I'm not discounting the possibility, but. Yeah, used to disappointment. You suck. you guys if I have to eat beans that's all right this little panda is so cute he's almost worth it now that being said I will have to eat from the mystery container because the regular container is empty I mean that's assuming I land on like regular beans that's just my whole um, but that doesn't discount the possibility that I might still get a yicky hot one in there and <laughs> I don't like that I'm in the clear. I'm not really in the clear. But again, Q 
cute, sweet little panda. He might be worth it. Might. I negotiated for that extra time though because like otherwise I would have really been eating beans wow. so I feel a little bit okay with that wow. yeah well maybe not it could still land on reverse I, I, I know that's like the impossible dream at this point but again look at the little panda he's almost worth it is it actual size for this oh, oh yeah it, it is. is that's pretty cool it's pretty close mm -hmm. mm. you definitely tell that it was an older style puzzle though Yep, Not yep, yep. the same quality as these days, but that's all right. World Wrestling Federation. Mm -hmm. World, World Wildlife. World Wrestling Federation. Not wrestling. No one cares about wrestling. All right, you guys. So if I do happen to land on regular beans or boozled, I will eat from the mystery container because our regular container for that is sadly empty at the moment. Please, no hot. All I ask is no pot. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Double it. Oh, I was so close. Ah. I just wanted to land on reverse just once. Hello. I know, I don't want them. Okay, what am I at? Two, four, six, eight, ten. You're some of the nicer ones too. Mix them. Yeah. Well, there are nice ones in there. Yeah. Just even your... I think I see a hot one actually. I can see it in there. It's haunting me and I don't, I, it, that can be for you. No. Actually, I might see two hot ones in there. All right, so. This is mystery. Might be good, might be bad, might be hot. I don't think it's hot. None of these are the right color. Um, I'm gonna eat these gross brownie ones first because, like, I think they were the ones that were the disgusting, like, either popcorn-y or marshmallow-y. Filth. Yesterday. They were filth. What? Oh, my thumbs. Oh. Ugh! This is like garbage or something. Ugh! That's disgusting. That's the same thing. Ew. Not this self. Those are gross. I'm so glad I started with that. Oh, all three of them were the same. What is that? Yeah. Oh, there's some dog food. That's almost a welcome relief after that last feed. Ugh. I just hate dog food. I do need to make a new wheel, though, and add some new categories. Make it more interesting. Mmm! Mmm, that was fruity. Mmm. Please don't be booger. I think it was. Ew. It was a dirty booger taste. Ugh. That was not a good run. <laughs> oh, bubblegum. Well, you haven't had a hot one yet. True, true. Oh, bubblegum again. Yeah, not my favorite thing, but way better than garbage. Mm. Mm. I don't think that one's bad. Look at it. It blended in with the yummy bubble gum. Oh, she's bad. Mm. And now the never bad bean. Mm. Toothpaste, I got to brush my teeth. Mm. Mm. All right, you guys. That was a ton of fun. I really liked that animal puzzle. Um, let me know in the comments. It, uh, it For the longest time, I don't know if I've told you guys this yet, I used to hide the fact that I did puzzles. Like, I did not tell anybody. You had to be like super, super inner circle for you to know that I did puzzles. 
But in like the last year or so, when I've started letting people in about that, all of a sudden I have friends that lend me puzzles or give me puzzles, and I sometimes lend mine out, but only to really, really trusted people. Um, like, do you guys do that with your friends? I'm really curious. Like, do you, do you have a puzzle community that you kind of almost like a little puzzle library? It's a swap back and forth, or when you're done with one, you hand it off to the next person and down the line and all that? Let me know in the comments what you think. Anyways, you guys, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.